Well, adding a little bit of color to urban areas is a challenge, but it can make a big difference. Dan Cashman explains how he did it outside of our station. Hi, everybody. Well, I'm downtown in Bismarck on a traveling garden this week, and I'm at the KFYR TV studios on 4th Street and Broadway. It's very shady here, and these planters were built about 49 years ago, and they call it Chancellor Square, and we did a lot of landscaping here then. But that is all gone now, except these beautiful ash trees that are 49 years old. So uh, I developed a plan, drew it for KFYR, and um, it's a little bit of a challenge here because we have a lot of shade. Some sun in the morning and afternoon, especially on the ends, but we have uh, probably 35 or 40 different varieties of plants, some that love shade or tolerate some shade, and some that can take the sun on the end. I've got ferns, I've got a plant that's very easy to grow called ash leaf spirea, hydrangeas that are beautiful all during the end of May, June, all of July and August, uh, purple coneflower, these are native here and very hardy. But next week we're going to talk about this again, but we're going to talk about the irrigation system we put in, it's all drip and automatic, and we're going to talk about pot in a pot. We have plants in a pot that we can pull out and change and put something else in there. And even better than that, around the end of October, early November, we're going to put spruce tops in so we've got some winter green and winter color. So it's going to be fun for downtown. I hope it's contagious for a lot of other people to plant some color like this. And uh, it's fun to do this show too. So until next week, good gardening.